Welcome to the maze. Be careful. Enter at your own risk. It was very cluttered even from the day we moved in. Boxes everywhere. We had two condominiums. When we realized there's no way we're going to be able to put all this stuff away. What is it? It's trail, that's trail mix. I wouldn't need this. The date on this expiration date 2018. Was... We never fully unpacked. As the years went on, things just keep getting worse. Our smoke alarms are too difficult to get to to change the batteries. I can't reach the smoke detectors. They've been beeping for two years. Usually we sit here, go watch TV or listen to music. Do have my glasses and my silverware here where I eat, have my, uh, my dinner every night. This is generally my captain's chair where I sit. His stuff continues <laughs> to, to fall. I used to cook a lot. This doesn't work. The fan motor went bad. The dishes in the sink have been there since maybe Thanksgiving. This is our laundry room. 90% of the clothes up here are mine. And this is the, uh, we call it the computer room. It's where the Wi-Fi and the printer, those types of things are. Ugh, it's awful. We have a tripping hazard everywhere. We have fallen. It just isn't safe. This is the guest bedroom, but it's become my bed. <sighs> it's an awful feeling to have to look at all this every time I come in here and fight my way in. This is the master bedroom. Lori hasn't been using it, and it's kind of not in great shape, uh, like everything else around here. Whose stuff is that on top of the dresser? That's my stuff. All of it. I've never lived like this. And I've watched some hoarding shows, and I had to quit watching them because I realized that was our house. We just can't live like this. It's not normal. I collect some baseball memorabilia. Most of that stuff is boxed up. I don't even know where it is. What are these? They wristbands? Are wristbands. There's the staple gun. I've been looking all over for. <laughs> I have three generations stamp collection from my grandfather's, my father's, and mine. I have a DVD collection. I don't know where most of those are either. These are a lot of unopened boxes. House is great size just become a giant storage unit. I had some little turtles and a stamp collection, but I don't know where the turtles are. She does have a beautiful Neil Armstrong photo that's signed. Somewhere. Somewhere. I don't know where it is. It's insured. <laughs> well, Lori and Bob say there is literally not one square inch of their home that isn't covered with something. And I'm not kidding. It is so packed that they've had to clear a narrow path through the clutter just to get around and still they're subject to tripping and falling because it is so cluttered and so narrow but who is to blame my area is buried in paper that i haven't gotten to bob does not believe he's a hoarder it's not up to me to tell him that but the signs are everywhere <laughs> hey this isn't even open what is it crossbow arrows for emergency supplies yeah the situation that we're in might be tilted my way a little bit, simply because I don't have time to do what I need to do. I have never seen Bob intentionally get rid of things. Even if they're broken, he keeps them, thinking maybe we'll fix them. I've got some copper pipe here. We had a new door installed, so I was gonna install it in copper, but another thing I haven't had time to do. I don't really consider myself to be a major hoarder. 90% of this is probably my stuff. Zika, come here, up here. He's contributed to the problem. In the last year or so, Sitka has made a lot of messes. Sitka jumps from place to place, and he's always knocking things over. These shades, he'll put his claws in them and yank them down. That's a shower curtain hanging there. He decided that he wanted to see outside, so he just tore it down. This is hard on yeah. him, too, to live in this situation. We had a cactus out here. Oh my gosh in the dining room and he slipped one day and got spines in him. We got rid of the cactus, kept the cat. Do you have a story or a question for me? Click the link in the description and tell me what in the world is going on.